okay. Um, it's not actually as complicated as it looks. You've got the two shoes. Um, these pins hold the shoes in place. You just push them in and twist them to unlock them. Um, you've got two springs on top, one there and one behind. And you've got this spacer. And that's got an automatic tension device on it. And that's, that's the arm there. And that, that goes in. And this has got a, a round um, notched out section. This spacer here. And uh, it just ratchets and tightens the, uh, the spacer as needed. And under here, you've got one spring. So that's it there. And that runs from there to there. So across from one shoe to the other. And that's a permanent spacer there. And uh, the bottoms of the shoes notch into that. And they notch into that uh, hydraulic uh, activator there. And that widens out and spreads the shoes out. So that's the tops of the shoes. That's the bottoms of the shoes. Got your two springs there and your spacer. And one retaining spring on the bottom. So first of all, I'll get this large spring off just by grabbing it with the pliers and pulling it out and around. Um, and I'll probably get the the, rear, the bottom um, spring off and the, then just take it from there and then release the shoes. Okay, now the small spring behind. Now the shoes have got a retaining clip here, so I'll just grab it from behind. It goes right to the outside of the, the body, and I just push it in and turn it. Okay, now behind the uh, the brake drum, there's a uh, a hole just down there. If I can get some light, yeah, there it is. And I'll poke the uh, the cable through there, and it'll come out through down there. And um, that's the uh, the lever there. For the handbrake cable, so this pulls the handbrake cable pulls this out, and it pulls the uh, the drum onto the uh, onto the cylinder. Okay, um, the cable's now on the body of the car, and that's been pushed through there. It was very easy. I just pushed it through, and it clipped in, just snapped in uh, behind. So, um, yeah, there it is there sticking out. So I've just got to put that through this area here. And uh, that just sort of drops in and locks in under there. And then put the shoe back on and, and connect the rest. So that's running. It runs up along and then through that hole there. And... Uh, that comes out there. And then there's a retaining sort of snapping uh, lock that slips up under there to keep it there. So the hardest part is um, 
as you put the shoe back on is this this spacer here and this spring behind to sort of uh, line it up and get it all um, back on okay so there's a cable through the the arm of the shoe now I'll just get it and flip it around and um, I'll put it on the uh, on the drum frame and um, I think what I did last time was I got this small spring I put that on first and then just used this to uh, to lock the uh, the rest in okay so the um, the shoes in place and uh, the springs uh, also in place and the spacer so there's a spring being clipped to brown there and there's the uh, the right hand side of the spacer you might be able to just make out there try and get a better shot so that's that's it there and now this arm small arm here is that that's the ratchet there that uh, sits around that just try and get it focused um, there's a round thing in there and that just levers up on that and tightens up the uh, the drum brakes as needed okay so um, with this small adjusting lever here that uh, and just remove that so with this space a bit there there has to be a notch that has to be um, facing out and that's what the uh, the spacer sits into so just sits in there like that okay so at this stage the uh, the shoes on the uh, the shoe holders been put into place and uh, this still moves up and down a little bit but uh, it's central to the uh, the outside there and uh, the shoe's sitting in this bottom retainer I've got to put the the bottom spring on and it's sitting in the, the top with this job I highly recommend that um, you take lots and lots of uh, photos lots of pictures and um, Plenty of documentation because there's a fair few parts to this uh, to a drum brake. Some drum brakes have a different uh, tightening mechanism and uh, different spring setups. Um, this one, as I said, you've got your uh, your spreader that spreads apart. When you put your foot on the brakes, you've got a rear spring to hold the shoes. You've got a front spring that runs from there to this um, this swiveling. Um, automatic tightener and it's got a hole just there and the spring runs from there to there it's got a spring in the bottom that runs from this top hole across to this top hole I think but you better check that uh, for yourself um, and these retaining clips here and here I might be able to show it's a bit dark around here but I might be able to show the other side of this so so it runs from there, and that's the back of it's just uh, just there. I'll be able to make out just a small round thing there. So yeah, that's the part to this. Uh, those are the parts to this drum brake assembly. And uh, the cable with the cable, when you want to remove it, you have to get a clip. I'll show you a um, or a, uh, a holder. I mean. But I'll show you that uh, in a sec. But anyway, the the route of the uh, the cable goes from behind. As I said, you just lock it in by pushing it through, and it's got uh, spreading pins behind uh, that uh, lock out on the inside here. So it's got a retaining retainer there, and it runs through through that hole there, and then you bring it out, and there's a clip you've got to install to. Uh, to hold it at the other end okay that's the front uh, top spring I'll try to demonstrate putting that on so that clips in there and it goes to that automatic adjuster there okay the bottom spring has been put in the, the hole on the left hand side and 
I'm going to need a stronger holder. Let's bring that closer. Got a spacer, just gonna put the shoe in place, and uh, I should have more luck this time. Okay, just double checking um, the shoes sitting in in this activator at the uh, at the top and uh, the bottom there. Um, the rear small springs in place, the uh, the outside springs in place. Um, this is sitting properly in its notched out uh, cap there to. Hold the uh, the shoe in place, so you can see there that uh, that there's a hole running that way, and this is twisted, pushed in and twisted and sitting properly. So uh, yeah, everything's in place. Okay, so if you absolutely can't get the shoe drum back on, um, this is the spacer here. So you just wind that in. What I did was I made a, a, um, a sort of a note for myself so I can see where it's got to be adjusted back to. But it's basically, um, it self winds out as the drum gets loose. You can see the gap increasing there. And I know that it's got to go back to that, uh, that white mark there. So that makes it shorter. And I can get my um, I can get it back together. So how this uh, the shoe retainer works is um, you've got your spring there that goes around to the outside, and uh, this is the cap that uh, keeps it all together. Well, you just put that through. Like uh, like so, and then you turn this, and it won't come off, and the spring's locked in. 